Hi everyone, now that we learn about the architecture of Internet Computer, it's time to learn about how we can set our development environment and what we'll be using for Internet Computer development. In this presentation, we are going to learn about Internet Computer Software Development Kit and how we can install it and what we get from this installment. Next, we are going to learn about the components of Internet Computer Software Development Kit, CDK and DFX. And finally, we will have our conclusion. So what is IC SDK? It's a software development kit that has necessary tools for us to develop on internet computer. It is for creating and managing canister smart contracts on internet computer protocol blockchain. Let's see how we can install internet computer SDK. Internet computer software development kit is designed to work directly with Linux or macOS. But if you are using Windows, you can use WSL 1 or 2 but the second one is recommended even though both of them is going to work. To install the Internet Computer SDK, we are going to use this command below. So after this installation, let's see what we are getting. The Internet Computer SDK installation script installs several components in default locations on your computer. First, we have DFX. DFX is the command line tool provided by Definity for developing, deploying and managing applications on the Internet Computer. It's designed to facilitate local development and testing. Then we have MAC, which is Motoko Runtime Compiler. Motoko is a programming language that has been specifically designed for creating software to run on internet computer. The MAC is used to compile Motoko source code into WebAssembly, which we call WASM format, which can be executed on the internet computer. Then we have the replica. In the context of Internet Computer, a replica refers to an instance of the Internet Computer protocol running on a node machine. Multiple replicas form a subnet and they work together to process requests, maintain a shared state and preserve the integrity and security of the system. This term, network binary, usually refers to the compiled version of the Internet Computer software that is run on the node machines. It includes the code necessary to operate the network, process requests, and maintain the blockchain. Uninstall that sh, which is self-explanatory in my opinion. This is a shell script file that is typically used to uninstall software in a Unix or Unix-like operating system. In the context of Internet Computer, it would be used to remove the installed software or tools related to Internet Computer from your system. And finally, we will have the versions. This term in a software context generally refers to the different releases of the particular software packages. Each version would have different features or improvements. In the context of Internet Computer though, it refers to the different releases of the DFX tool, the Internet Computer software or other related tools and libraries. The IC SDK is a software development kit created by Definity. It's designed to help you create and manage canisters. The canister development kit is a tool used by Internet Computer SDK. It gives programming languages the ability to create and manage canisters. The Internet Computer SDK comes with number of CDKs pre-installed, such as Rust CDK, so you can start developing in your preferred language. As we can understand from here, Internet Computer Software Development Kit is the bigger box here, which includes CDKs, which are canister development kits. The FX is the command line interface for Internet Computer Software Development Kit. This is why many Internet Computer SDK commands start with the FX like DFX new or DFX stuff, even though we haven't seen these commands yet, we are going to see them a lot of times in our projects, I promise. And finally, as a conclusion, the Internet Computer SDK equipped with its tools such as CDK and DFX is a crucial component for developers aiming to leverage the power of Internet Computer Protocol blockchain in their applications. Its compatibility with various programming languages, its modular components, and its intuitive command line interface makes it a versatile and user-friendly platform for blockchain development. Whether you are coding in Motoko or Rust, the Internet Computer SDK is designed to meet your needs and propel your project forward. And in our case, we will be using Rust and Internet Computer Software Development Kit together to create our smart contracts and decentralized applications. So thank you very much for listening to this video and I will see you on the next video where we make our hands dirty. So thank you very much again and see you there.